about all you two? I'm back in another video tonight, man. Just watched up the whip. Another little late night video. Got to do a late one, man. It's too damn hot. It's uh, daytime. I'm tired of fucking with the sun. But I kind of just want to give y'all a review of the whip. Kind of talk about the options of what I got. Uh, I'll go over the payment and shit. Another video, but this is kind of just to go over what I do have on it. So, like I was saying, uh, let me show you the exhaust. Like I was saying, man, I'm trying to make sure the wind's not blocking too much of sound. I hate that shit, bro. This is the video that sounds like that. But, so the thing about this one is, I need to hurry to get the exhaust done. Everything's stock on this thing. Whoever had it before me didn't have nothing done to it, which I'm thankful for because, you know, people have shit done to it. it means they dogged it. They didn't even have a man muffler delete on this thing, so which makes me think they didn't really do too much with it, which I'm happy for. Uh, let me just show you a review of the car. I just washed it. Last time I showed you, it was really dirty. Man, that shit looks so mean. Man, I can't get over the look of that thing. Like, golly, man. The wide body is the way to go. I mean, I know I was kind of talking mess, saying, nah, I didn't get the wide body, but damn, it just feels so much better. I get compliments every second of the day. I feel like everybody notices it. It's wider. All my coworkers are like, damn, that thing's so wide. And which, the reason I like it, because I'm an aggressive person. I like when it's mean, fat, fat tires, fat wide body. I love the wide one, but... As much as I was paying, I mean, it's kind of cheap for everybody else, but I just didn't feel like I should be paying that much for the narrow body. I got the wide body, and I feel like I'm paying what it's worth, which I'll go in explanation in the next video what the wide body has and the difference in the narrow body, stuff like that. But let me show you the back seats, what seats I have. I do have the just regular Alcantara black seats. I like those. They're not too bad. I wish I really wanted a color like red or yellow, but... I wasn't tripping. I got it for a stupid price, so I'm happy with it. As long as it didn't have cloth, I'm good. Let me show you the front as well. The seats are in pretty immaculate condition, thankfully. Dodge's, like, parts are sometimes shitty, in my opinion, which you really pay for the engine and looks for this thing. That's really what it is. Seats and shit like that, their parts are going to be shitty sometimes, but, you know, it comes with it. Let me show you the wheel. The wheels I got on it, uh, these are the 20 by 11s. These are the upgraded wheels. Thank God I got them. I like these a lot more than the other ones. These are the 20 by 11 all the way around, 305 tires, six piston brakes. I'm not even sure, like, I'm pretty sure six piston brakes, but I don't know the difference. They look the same to me. My other scat had the same size brake. Can somebody get in the comments and let me know if I had the same brakes? I wasn't sure. But the thing about the wide body is it feels more stout on the ground. When I step on it, it feels like it goes and, you know, no uh, drag, nothing, which probably because it's 305 all the way around. But like I said, if you want to get something where you're not spinning, the narrow body spun like crazy, which I hate that part about it. But that's why I love this one. This one doesn't spin at all. Like I've been hitting it. I just hit it whenever I got out the car wash, barely even spin. And this thing, the thing about this silver is it's super easy to clean. My white one, I cannot clean the fucking, like, grime and tar and shit that was on there. Look at this one. I've been driving it kind of like crazy. And it has all the grime and shit mostly got away. Off oh, just a regular car wash. I didn't deep clean or nothing. But another thing this car has is the slaughter rotors. I really like that. I mean, I'm just one of those people that likes looks. I really like the looks and shit like that. Which, it looks good to me. Let me show you the engine bay as well. I didn't get to show you that. Like these are a lot bigger than the narrow body ones. I'm not sure if that's me or my tripping, but it looks a little bit bigger. This is the engine bay. It might be a little dirty. I haven't looked at it. Actually looks pretty good. Uh, I think I'm going to get a J JLT intake. They, people are saying it gives you surprising new gains, like five, which I'll take it. Looks a little bit better anyway. Or should I do a drop and filter? Y'all let me know. I've heard it really doesn't affect it too much, but... Like I said, I'll probably do that. Um, what else? Was I? I was going to say, oh, and also these, this wide body came with the LED halogen lights. My other one didn't. I changed them out. Super easy. If you have a question on that, I can let you know where I got the other ones at. The only thing this one doesn't come with is fog lights, which I feel like it looks a lot better without the fog lights, which I like these a little bit better. It makes it look more aggressive. Let me show that stance here. That stance looks so mean. Like, golly, look how mean that thing looks. That looks outrageously mean. That's the one thing I love about it, man. It's so crazy looking. Damn. Like, you can't tell me that thing don't look better than the narrow body. Bah. I mean, which, I was kind of one of those people like, man, I'm not going to spend money on the narrow body. But, you know, I did, you know. I said, F it, forget it. I'm going to do it. 
it just looks so much better. If you're deciding between the two, go wide body. You won't regret it. I mean, you go narrow body, you're going to regret it the whole time and say, damn, I should have got the wide body. So just go with which one you want. I'm telling you, it's the best option. Which, like I said, this is a quick video. Just kind of the overview of what the wide body has, what I got on it. Kind of the options. This one came with the red brake caliber option as well. It's a little dark. Has these upgraded wheels. Uh, also has the Alcantara here. See, I'm just kind of going over what I have. But in the next video, I'll go in depth. Pricing, all that stuff to kind of let you know what it does have in price point. Uh, I'll go over the payment and how much the car was. Y'all let me know if the deal was good. I think it was good in this market. So I'm happy with it. But like I said, I'll be back with another video very, very soon. Just started that bad boy up, 392 on there. Everything's kind of the same on the inside. For some reason, you know, you can also change your theme settings as well to change the background of your phone of what it looks like. But like I said, you know, this thing, nothing really changed. The only thing that changed was flat bottom, my suspension as well. I also get, you can mess with the suspension and the wide body, so that's nice as well. I really like that. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same, but I kind of want to give y'all some in footage as well. Let me switch that bad boy to sport. Give y'all some pulls. So I'm gonna give y'all some pulls and stuff, kind of. Man, I just got this thing clean. I'm finna get some pulls and uh, you know, show y'all what the speed feels like. Show y'all I really don't spin at all either, man. That's what I really like. But boy, it sounds kind of mean for stock mufflers as well. I really like that. Really mess with that. Here we go. We're finna get a pull in right now, boys. sounds a lot quicker than my narrow body like it just sounds like the shifts are just going so much quicker which i don't know if that's a difference or not you know it's probably just tripping but like i said get a few more pulls in just let y'all know what it sounds like stock i think it sounds pretty damn good but in my opinion it needs to be a little bit louder so i'm gonna get a thing louder but here we go here's another little a little go okay that's about a little bit right there i think this is my tires are still a little wet but like I said, and if yeah, everybody I know, I just learned how to do pattern sitters, really. If anybody ever doesn't know, hit me in the comments, I'll let you know. I mean, it's pretty simple, honestly. Real simple. I learned it on my own. Hopefully, they're messing the training, the black mustang thing I had, but I learned on that thing. But let's see if I can get a few more pulls in. There's usually feds around here, so I'm going to kind of slow it down for the time. Yep, there's two feds right there. These feds are out, man, and they try to always get you for anything, so i got to be careful with that. In which I think in track it sounds even more aggressive. I just put it in track. Let me see what this thing sounds like. So it'll give you a little bit of track noise. Ooh, that thing sounds so damn nasty. Ooh! That's, I think, it's gonna be it for the video. I just wanna kinda give y'all a quick glimpse of the pulls and stuff like that. Uh, like I said, next video will probably be the payments and the total price get all that simple shit knocked out then i'll probably get a mid muffler delete or i'm thinking i'm gonna go with the dynamax race bullets or carbon x or carbon r's i don't know yet because i kind of want to switch it up a little bit y'all let me know in the comments and let me know if i should bring you along when i get that mid muffler delete uh but that's gonna be it for this video peace